Hey guys, Beast here. I'm gonna go through a disassembler solo that I did a few days ago. Uh, not often I get to do this attack and uh, pretty happy with how it went. So we're gonna drop some girls down at the bottom there, just collect a bit of GBE while we uh, clear most of these mines from the back here. Obviously at the moment with the cryo bomb, that's gonna clear pretty much all of those in one go, which will make life a lot easier. But this was before it was available. I'm going to use a few critters just to clear some mines there as well. I'm just going to pull back and group up underneath these cells on the right. Let's clear some of those mines as well behind the rocket launchers. As I'd forgotten to do those already. Mm -hmm. and we're going to start the walk from there. So first flare is going to be behind these rocket launchers. So you want to keep the girls as tight as possible along the walk. And then once they get to the back there, we're going to flare just behind the mortars. So they should all go into single file through the machine guns. And then it's just double flaring at the back. Sorry, double smoke. And using Everspark on this attack is always a good idea as well. If there's anything that you've missed, you can always use the remote to just get rid of it. So you can normally get rid of everything within four shocks. So obviously the girls are going to attack whatever would attack them first, so they're going to ignore those cells until there's nothing else in range. Start using the remote a bit. And flare back to get out of the way of this mortar. So there you go, Sparky working again. Just getting rid of that boom cannon. And drop some more critters in a second, just get rid of a few mines. And there you go. That's all pretty much clear. And then you just need to work away on the core then. Hope you've got enough girls left to uh, take it down. And that's it. That's a disassembler solo. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers guys. Take care.